All right, now this is the coolest place to watch a movie ever. No roof is ever, ever needed to see a flick. It's Film on the Rocks. I'm excited to have Britta Erickson from the Denver Film Society here with all the scoop. How are you, my darling? I am great. How about you? Awesome, because Good. the lineup this year is incredible. You oh. start with Hunger Games this Saturday, right? Yeah, um, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. So the revolution begins. So uh, we will be up there on Saturday. It's the first time we've ever had a Saturday show. Um, should be a lot of fun. Hope I'm, to see a lot of Katnesses in the audience. Yeah, I might dress up like Katniss. They will confiscate bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. They will confiscate your oh, bow they and will. arrow, I think. <laughs> what about other highlights? Oh, um, I mean, we've got a terrific season. We have a season that actually has some anniversary films, uh, which is the 30th anniversary of The Breakfast Club, so we're screening that. Um, it is the... 35th anniversary of The Shining. <gasps> so we're screening that. We've only screened that one other time. Um, the Denver Film Society runs the Stanley Film Festival at the Stanley Hotel. Right. So we're big fans of that film. So I we're hoping it. to spook 7,500 people all at once Ooh. with a bit of Johnny coming through a door with an axe. Oh, well, that's going to be, gonna be so much fun. And the band that's playing with that show is Munley and the Leprechauns. And they're an amazing kind of spooky band unto themselves. It's going to be a perfect pairing. It'll be a great night up there at Red Rocks. So. Now, you mentioned that this week and as Hunger Games, normally you used to do it on Tuesdays. Why the switch? Um, we got the opportunity this summer um, with a busy concert schedule. It actually, some of the dates that shook out were a Saturday and actually a Friday for a Pretty Woman, which we thought, oh, perfect, July 31st, a Friday date night. That's really nice. And an anniversary nice. year of Pretty Woman. So yes. um, that'll be hopefully one of the greatest uh, evenings up there that we've ever had. Um, We've never done that film, and I'm super excited to show it, and we've gotten a lot of really good response about having it on the schedule. So. You also have a really sweet package deal, too, a ticket package deal. Yeah, you can um, take advantage of our peak experiences. Those are our VIP experiences. Um, for $42, you can uh, come to our Trading Post party, which happens on the Trading Post down below the venue. Um, we have it catered by Steubens. Um, you know, grab some grab some beers, have some great mac and cheese, Sweet. some, you know, pulled pork, um, and eat um, from the Steuben's truck at the Trading Post, play some games. Um, we always put out lawn games, and then head on up to the venue, and you'll have a reserve section. Or for $65, you can meet us at Blake Street Tavern downtown, and then have some drinks there and some food there, courtesy of Blake Street Tavern. Hop on the bus, and we'll drive you up, and we'll put you in the VIP section, and we'll drive you back down. So you got the party bus, you got the VIP section, and now let's talk about Pretty Woman again. You talked about the date night. I mean, who doesn't want to see that? When is that going to be every, shown? Every woman. Yeah, every woman. <laughs> July 31st. Okay, and how did you select these great movies? Who goes through the process of saying, that's the one we're going to pick, that's what we're going to show? You know, we, we throw a lot of ideas out there. We keep a running list. We know what's worked in the past. We kind of look at... Um, having a balanced season, something for everyone. Um, and then we kind of think about things like anniversaries. We think about, um, you know, things like Super Troopers this summer. We're screening that for the first time ever. It's because Super Troopers is back in the public consciousness because they just ran a hugely successful Kickstarter cam campaign for Super Troopers 2. So nice. it's a comedy group called Broken Lizard, and they, they did a more successful Kickstarter campaign than Zach Braff did for his new film. Wow. So it's back in public consciousness, and people have been talking about that movie again, and it's also a perfect stoner film. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, we <laughs> do live in Colorado. <laughs> Let's be honest here. And then the end of the season spectacular is still under wraps. Are we going to get a scoop? Are you going to tell me what it is? It's going to be sexy. It's going to be Oh, gonna I think I may know what it and is. Maybe they're making, maybe it's that there's another film related to this film that we're showing in Sept on September 2nd that's maybe coming out earlier this summer. So. Wow, okay, now that's not the film I was cool, thinking about. Maybe some cool sculpting happened before this film was made. Okay, okay, that's a good hint. <laughs> now what about food? What kind of food do you offer there? Um, so um, at, at the VIP Trading Post, it's courtesy of Steubens, and like I said, it's mac and cheese and pulled pork and a really great picnic food. Um, we do heavy hors d'oeuvres at Blake Street Tavern. And then, of course, if you're just there for a general admission ticket at $12, which is a great deal, um, you certainly can hit any of the Aramark concession stands. You can have popcorn, um, awesome. you can have drinks, you can have hot dogs, you can have nachos. Um, and up top at Shiprock Grill, they have some great food on their menu, so I always encourage Sweet. people to grab a dinner before they come on down to their seats. Well, I will see you there this weekend. Yay. Can't wait to see Hunger Games. Film on the Rocks premieres its summer season on May 23rd. Upgrade your movie going fun with the peak experience, which includes the party bus, woo -woo, food, drink, and VIP seating. For the entire schedule and for tickets, all the information, just go to denverfilm.org. That's denverfilm.org.